Hey guys, it's Nevin SF. I love watching those what I eat in a day videos, so I decided to make one all complete with a cocktail. These will be four easy to make light snacks or a light lunch if you want to consider that. And we'll top it off with one of my favorite drinks. All right, we're going to start off with the rice cake snack and I use my nut so nut butter and I used bananas and blueberries but you could use whatever fruit you'd like. Topped it off with the Trader Joe's chia seeds and the Trader Joe's raw pumpkin seeds. I love having chia seeds and nuts uh, available and it really does fill you up. So I've been wanting an indoor smokeless grill and I have one and I love cooking chicken breasts on it amongst other things. It's the Chefman brand and I'll go ahead and include a link to this product in the video. Alright once you turn your grill on medium high you can put the chicken breast season it really well. I use the Mrs. Dash brand and I love that it doesn't stick to it at all. You don't need any oils and it's easy to clean. So slice that chicken up and we're going to get our salad spinner going. This is new for me. It's a Quiznart brand and I haven't had a salad spinner in quite some time and I just got tired of, you know, wet lettuce. All right, once the lettuce is dry and you drain your water, go ahead and put your lettuce in a bowl. Please do not mind the spots on my shirt. I went a little crazy with the spinner, but go ahead and uh, add your chicken. I decided to also add croutons and I do have an, a slight obsession with anchovies. Uh, this is a brand from Trader Joe's, but I've tried uh, various brands and definitely like it, having it in my Caesar salad. I'm using the Trader Joe's Romano Caesar salad dressing and yes, I am juicy chopsticks to toss the salad. Hit it with some pepper and there you go. This is my Caesar salad that I had for lunch and it was pretty filling and I enjoyed it. I love, love making fresh spring rolls. They're a great way to get your veggies in for the day. So shout out to my Vietnamese friends who have made it for me, ordered it at restaurants and also taught me. This is the brand that I currently have and it's really easy to use you guys. All you really need is some warm water and you make sure you put in a space that's wide enough to fit it. I only have a pan so I compromise and use that. Um, and in about 20 to 30 seconds it becomes very easy to use and you start rolling your veggies up like lumpia that's the closest thing i could think of and this is all veggie but you could obviously add maybe some shrimp tofu or pork and i do want to give a shout out to my friend jenny who invited me to a party and all we did was roll fresh spring rolls it was pretty fun all right gotta give a tip real quick it, you have to wet the knife so just be sure to keep wetting it uh, to avoid it getting caught and getting sticky you have to have a peanut sauce. So this is my version. I used the nut so nut brand again, and I did a splash of rice wine vinegar, soy sauce, sriracha, and then sweetened it up with a little agave and some fresh lime. All right, you guys, a spoon, stirring with a spoon does not work. You gotta switch it to a fork, and it got a little messy here. Once you get it the consistency that you like and enjoy, go ahead and start eating and enjoy. This was so delicious, you guys. I actually chowed down right after I filmed this and it was all gone. All right, I love making lettuce wraps and I decided to use leftover potato pancakes uh, into this lettuce wrap. But let me show you how I made my potato pancakes. It's really easy. All you need to do is get a potato, I usually do one or two and some onion and uh, about a quarter of an onion and all you want to do is get that ready for the food processor. Alright, you're going to get this type of consistency. It's going to smell so great with the onion all chopped up in there and moisture is going to come out so I do put in a little bit of potato starch to soak up the excess water. So I better put it in about one or two spoonfuls. All right, now you're going to put those potato shaped pancakes into a hot pan with oil and just make sure you crisp it up on one side before you flip it over. 
So these were actually leftover potato pancakes. I was just grilling them since I had used a grill and it was already out. So I decided to use that for my lettuce wraps. All right, now it's time to assemble your lettuce wraps. Uh, you literally could use whatever you'd like. I've put in some steak, I put in tofu, I've put in just all veggies, whatever you want, really, it's up to you. I like making Asian inspired dipping sauces. So this one is with fish sauce. That's the brand that I use. I like putting in some red hot chilies and yeah, some more lime, fresh lime to squeeze in. And you always want to add a little bit of sweetener. So I did add some agave. I almost forgot you need garlic for sure. Garlic is always great. And go ahead and put that on and take a bite. It's, it's really delicious. After a long day and cooking away in the kitchen, you definitely deserve a cocktail, as do I. So I am making an espresso martini, and all you need is Tito's vodka, some leftover coffee that you have, or espresso, Kahlua, get some ice, chill it, shake it, and you should be good to go. As you can tell, I don't have a martini glass, so I went ahead and used just a regular glass, but it's okay. It'll taste the same. Thanks for dropping by, and I hope you enjoyed the drink. Cheers.